Among smaller dinosaurs, the animal Troodon may be one of the most famous, due to many articles being written about the presumed intelligence as they had quite large brains for their size. They were on the smaller end by dinosaur standards, but these clever little animals lived for millions of years during the late Cretaceous period. However, Troodon, at least as like a genus, isn't really a thing anymore at all. And that's due to the, uh, well, quite dubious nature of their classification to begin with. The species Troodon formosus is absolutely no longer considered to be a valid species, simply because, well, to begin with, it was originally discovered by Joseph Leidy in 1856, and the holotype specimen was literally a single tooth. One tooth! That was it! That was the entire basis for the whole species! And the thing is, there were a lot of different remains found all over the place of small, bird-like dinosaurs, and they were all kind of thrown into the Troodon name without really trying to figure out any details, because there really weren't that many remains of them. And paleontologists at the time were just like, yeah, that's th they're all the same, it'll, it'll be fine, I'm sure. I we'll figure it out later. Over time, Troodon was starting to be viewed as a wastebasket taxon, which is generally biologist code for, we don't know what the heck these things are. We're just gonna throw them here, and again, figure it out later. Though over time it was determined that these bones could not be attributed to a single species. And as recently as 2017, it was decided that the analysis of the holotype specimen was undiagnostic in nature, and that Troodon formosus just shouldn't be a thing at all. So, yeah, based on most research, Troodon isn't a thing anymore. But generally when names like this are abandoned, especially when they're actually kind of famous, as was the case with Brontosaurus, which was eventually reassigned to an actual animal, it's likely that at some point, paleontologists will be able to reassign Troodon properly to an actual species, so it's not gone forever. But for the moment, Troodon just, just isn't a thing, as the remains that were thrown under it just really weren't even of the same type of animal. Yeah, they were superficially similar, but they were also kind of different. Some specimens went to Senonychosaurus, some went to Latin Nivinatrix, and others went to Pectinodon. Really, they went anywhere that wasn't under Troodon, because Troodon just couldn't be scientifically verified as a thing. It's unfortunate, but paleontology is full of cases like this, and this is the sort of thing that even threw me off, as I didn't even know about this until fairly recently. Paleontology as a field is one that is ever evolving with new information. So I guess the best thing I could say is keep reading, because the second you think you know anything, you, you realize you know absolutely nothing. One of those situations. And with that, a special thank you to my Apex Predators, Metal for Life Guy, Dr. Racy78, and Arthur Roy. Till next time, this is Darkness, and we'd roll a fun farewell.